ESPN2. Matt Berry getting the start for BYU, wearing Steve Young's old number eight. First quarter on third and three. Berry incomplete to Rodney Wilkerson. Sets up a big fourth down. Gary Croton, what are you going to do? Going to go for it. This time, Berry going to try Daniel Coates on for size. Mm. How about a 38-yard touchdown? BYU had a 7-3 lead in the second quarter. BYU leading 7-6 and punting. Georgia Tech's Kenny Scott on the block. Nathan Burton returns it for the touchdown. Georgia Tech up top, 13-7 at halftime. There's number eight. Steve Young had his jersey retired and his name put up on the stadium. Third quarter, BYU up 14-3. Third and 14, Matt Barry, who are you looking for? How about that good-looking young receiver, Toby Christensen, for the touchdown? I know one guy who's smiling. Right. BYU goes on for the victory. For the Huskies, hmm, Ralph Region and crew making their first trip to Illinois in 77 years. Second quarter, Josh Haldy to P.J. Fleck. What a catch. Watch Fleck drag the foot. P.J., how'd you do it? Josh threw a good ball. He, he put it in the only spot he could put it. You know, we got that four by four box in the back end, end of the end zone. He put it there. I caught it. Drug my foot. It's a good thing I wear a size 11 because <laughs> I drug that toe. Good thing you have skills. We jump to the fourth quarter. Northern down 13 10. Third and five. Haldy drops it to Fleck. Fleck 13 catches for 116 yards. First down Husky. Same drive. Michael Turner up the middle of the burner gets the first down. Again, the Huskies with a third and one, and Haldy keeps it. He was 21 of 35 for 266 yards. Another first down. Same drive. Haldy runs it on the quarterback. Scramble stops short of the first down. Now, in comes your All-American kicker, Steve Azar. Lasher gets Wake. That was the game-tying field goal. Back to this game. Same flavor. Azar, 26-yard field goal. It's all even late at 13. Later, fourth quarter, Northern. Gets the ball back with 17 seconds ago. Haldy drops back. The pass is incomplete, but a penalty on Maryland roughing the passer. A helmet-to-helmet -helmet personal foul. So Northern goes back to work. Nine seconds left. Haldy to Fleck. NIU calls timeout. Joe Novak concerned. Azar in. The All-American kicker has his kick blocked by Curtis Williams. So that means extra fun. Maryland thinks they get away with one. First overtime, Northern. Don Sheldon to the promised land. Huskies lead 2013. Terps turn to answer. Northern brings pressure. McBride hit as he throws. And it is intercepted. Intercepted by Northern Illinois. And they have won the football game. Unbelievable. An unbelievable play. Watch again. Almost could have been pass interference. Ball deflects off a of quarterback Rob Lee's leg and then into Rondi Drew's hands. There's a potty over here as NIU pulls off the huge. Arguably its best player against visiting Toledo. Unauthorized use of a phone car. John Robinson called last season's loss to the Rockets one of his worst ever. He's coached forever. Yeah, but look at all this neat stuff you can do in Robbie's world. Oh, yeah. Toledo is defending Mac West champs. That said, Friday nights in Toledo could be considered less exciting, although you can always dream of going to Vegas. You don't have to dream. We are in Vegas. Second quarter, fourth and goal. Toledo down eight. Field goal team changes formations. Bruce Gretkowski. Backup QB with his first collegiate TD throw finds Dakota. That's Toledo's tight end, Andrew Clark. Rockets fail on the two-pointer trail by two. Fourth quarter belonged to Kurt Nankis and his tight end, Greg Estandia. Two touchdowns for the tight end, and the Mountain West wins it 28-18.